Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to use the custom authenticator with the REST client. In the test class, let me add another test method. In the implementation of the test method, I'm going to create the client and then I'm going to create the request. While creating the client, I'm also going to initialize the authenticator property. And this property will be initialized with the instance of our custom authenticator. After this, I'm going to create the request. This is the context path of the get endpoint that is secured using the JWT token. Then using the client, I'm going to send the request. Capture the response and add the validation on the response status code. I'm going to send the same request twice to demonstrate the caching of the token. Let me put the debug point in the custom authenticator as well as in the test method and then run the script in the debug mode. Now let us look at the client. The authenticator property is set to the instance of JSON web token authenticator and the token property is empty string. Now we are inside the custom authenticator. We know that the token property is empty and because of that get token API will be invoked. First, we register the user. User registration is successful. And then we authenticate the user to get the token. And this is the JWT token. This is the second request that we are going to execute. Now let us look at the client. So as you can see here, the token property has value which represent the JWT token. So this time the get token API will not be invoked and the call will return from this method. So our request is successful. In this manner, you can use the custom authenticator with the REST client. 